Yo, so this video is a simple change of pace to explain how to set up safe states in Silksong as well as getting crests or tools fast. It's called the debug mod. I'm not the creator of the mod, so thanks to SpaceMonkey86 for creating this. I'll go over what you need to download and where to find the files. I'll try to keep it fast. Every link will be in the description. You will need to first download Bepinex, which basically is a mod manager required for many games. You can simply download it here. Just scroll down and get the version for your operating system. Then you'll have to put the zip folder in your whole Night Silksong folder. Depending on how you installed it, it could be at different places, but for example on Windows, most of the time it should be here. So this PC, local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and whole Night Silksong. Just put it here alongside the other files and extract everything there directly, and you can just delete the zip file afterwards. If you check inside the Bepinex folder, it will be empty, so before doing anything else, you just have to launch the game up to the main menu, and then you can quit, and you will see that the Bepinex folder is filled with other folders. If you wish to download mods, for the most part, you'll simply need to download them and put them in the plugins folder for them to work. Uh, some others require other files to be in other places, such as config, for example, so make sure to read the mods pages for important information of what you need to do. Now that this is set up, you can basically download any mods from mod websites and follow the instructions. Uh, the mod for save states and other useful things is called the debug mod again. Uh, the link in, is in the description. Uh, thanks to SpaceMonkey86 again for putting this together. Then you can just download the debug mod.zip file at the bottom of the page. You put it in the plugins folder that is inside the Bepinex folder and you extract it there directly. And you're basically good to go. From then on, if you launch the game on Steam, the debug mod will be accessible. All you have to do is press F2 to open the menu and you can change a lot of things. I won't go into details for everything, but you can check all the tabs on the top right there. And you can also see things by scrolling the pages here. On the left side, you simply have a recap of your state as a character. So like, like the nail damage or your percentage of completion, for example. If you don't seem to be able to click on things, you might have to press escape to regain control over your mouse and you'll be able to click things normally. For the save states, what you have to do is you go wherever you want your save state to be at, you press file save at the top right here, and you will have a list of save slots. You have 10 pages with each 10 slots available. You simply press the number you want your file to be saved in. So for example, here on page nine, I press three and it'll be saved. To access it again, you can press file load and press the number for the one you want to go to. So a three here, and I just go directly where I want it to be. You can also do a quick slot save, which allows you to reset much faster if you want to train a specific boss or segment. Basically, when you're where you want to be, you can click quick slot save, and in the options here, you just have to go to page two and click on the white circle. And this will allow you to assign a shortcut for the action for quick slot load. I put F5 for example, so every time I press F5, I respond immediately where I want to. So here it would be fourth chorus uh, without having to go to the menu every time. The quick save is deleted every time you close the game though, so be careful of that. And that's basically it for save states. So you can find the files for the save states in your app data files. So you just have to press Windows plus R. This will pop up. You can type percent app data percent and go back to app data here and then go to local low team cherry whole nice silk song debug mod data. And you'll have a file for save states current batch. Here you'll see 10 folders that correspond to your 10 pages in game, each with 10 slots. You can actually rename those if you wish to, and you can also rename the save states in game by modifying the file. You can do it with the classic notepad app. So for example, here I change the name of the file with fourth chorus and in game, it will be fourth chorus in the page. It's better just to know where you're going when you're uh, selecting a save state. And you can also change the number uh, if you just rename the file directly. If you, uh, if you put, for example, seven here instead of three, then in game, the save state will be the seventh and not the third. 
And that's pretty much it. You can have fun with all the settings and change bindings for some actions if needed by just clicking the white circle next to each uh, action. I'll also put in the description a link to download all the safe state files I use to fight bosses. They should all be there. Uh, if you use them, you'll be teleported right before the boss for the most part, but you might have to go back to a bench if you want to use another crest or different tools, because most of mine are just with shaman's crest from my shaman's video. So anyway, thanks for watching and don't hesitate to ask anything in the comments if necessary and I'll try to explain if I know the answer. Thanks!